yo creo que una película es una ventana a la vida de alguien más y es la experiencia colectiva que nos ayuda a vivir día tras día y a crecer y a aprender. Entonces, si on peut mieux vivre à travers le cinéma, c'est parce que le cinéma nous renvoie notre, d'une certaine façon, notre image ou des choses que l'on vit et qui nous permettent de s'interroger sur notre propre destinée. J'ai l'impression. Moi, il y a des films qui m'ont bouleversé, qui étaient, par exemple, en plan, avec des plans très larges, etc., et qui ont une dimension sur un écran de cinéma qu'on n'aura jamais sur un portable évidemment, mais même une télévision. Et, et en plus, on est tous ensemble, en même temps, à vivre cette émotion, ce rire, enfin, que, que, quoi que ce soit. Et ça, je trouve que c'est irremplaçable. Le cinéma est très uh, important pour éloigner certains issues dans le monde, parce que le journalisme ne peut pas faire tout. And uh, especially in the in the about the uh, the war has been uh, a very uh, good source of uh, war documentaries in in the time, but uh, it, it truly has to continue like this in this way. Can we live better better through the eyes of cinema? Do we live? Do we have a better society through it? It was funny because I was talking about yesterday talking about the importance of going to movies and the importance of going to cinema and we look back on Hitchcock's amazing moments that the lights go down and it's all so personal to you you know and it, that, it is life changing it's life shifting you leave the theater and you feel different you feel shifting I think cinema doesn't change the world but at least can unify people can unify races gen genders uh, nationalities accents I mean uh, it's it's a place where the world meets uh, with the boundaries and yes at that at that sense in that sense cinema can really welcome everyone and it's an example of uni unity i think the way that we relate to each other sometimes especially on a movie set can be isolated enough where you get to to dream and become not necessarily who you are not but you get to unlock buried aspects of yourself and There's always a dance and a negotiation between the people doing the performance and the people capturing it. And if if it feels congruent and ephemeral and like you can't put your finger on it and afterwards you feel out of breath and exhilarated and like you've just had an intimate exchange, that's when you know you've that's when you've touched cinema. If we can live better with cinema, yes we can. Because cinema is a testimony of life, pain, and passion. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't know what to do without cinema, and I'm very happy to be here at uh, the Biennale. Because it's a big and beautiful opportunity to show something that is unpredictable. Come possiamo vivere meglio grazie al cinema, andando al cinema? andando al cinema il più possibile e facendoci coinvolgere. When I was a teenager, a priest named Father Garelli, he was a Jesuit, used to show me world cinema after school. I had never been to any of these countries where he showed me the cinema, he showed me a lot of Italian cinema, truly world cinema, and introduced me to what was the Bravo channel at that time, which had world cinema on it. And I got to go places I'd never been and see people I'd never seen, and it opened my heart to the differences that are in the world. La sala pulsa. Questa è la differenza fra il cinema e la propria casa. Che dentro una sala buia al cinema si pulsa insieme agli altri. Quindi si condivide e si prova felicità, gioia, sogno, dolore. Dipende dal film. Right, this is in day three that we keep waiting for the 78th Venice Film Festival. We'll be starting with we're here for the Dune by Dennis Renhin no way to I'm quite sure what's the last name starts with letter V. But anyway, to have world premiere at the Venice Film Festival. It's about the film screens out the competition on Friday, this might be from this week, at the Palazzo del Cinema and stars Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson and Sadaya. And quite we get to the cinematic. So let me give you a scroll down. And you probably get the word Dune, it's spelled with D U N E. Dune by Dennis Renanu. That is about for the director also. Dune is presented by for the Warner Brothers Picture and Legendary Pictures. It was the, the highly accepted the big screen at the top shins 
and you get to put all the features, the water bars picture, it was Burbank, California. So you gotta make sure to be a whole paragraph. I'm just going to put the link for more of the 78th Minutes Food Festival that you want to check it out. Write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Make sure to be always watching for sharings. So I will see you next time and tomorrow we're going to be reading for day four. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.